Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna give you a quick update on my uh, backyard, call it I guess a uh, golf cage, golf shed in the making. Um, a few people in the comments asked me to show my setup. Uh, i done various videos on that, but obviously as it goes, uh, there's a few updates. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to tell people is that uh, if you're planning on doing this, the main thing that you need um, is not a it's not a difficult to build, but you have to be a little um, be very careful when you're setting up the poles like this. Like for instance, this right here is completely off level, so all you need is a bubble leveler like this. You know, nothing expensive, and all you got to do is just set it up on the on the pole that you trying to put. And uh, this one right here is completely off balance, so you got to make sure you do that. After you set up your poles, that's it. I mean, you start putting the planks like I did over here and you can build and you know um i'm also planning on doing reinforcements but that's for the most part that's it you know you can uh, decide to have it as a shed or you can decide to have it open like i do it right now all right so this is the setup that i have uh, i normally play with my ipad there's my fly scope mebo and here's the the uh the net uh with this structure here that i'm finishing the shed obviously so this is what I normally do, it's very fast. All I gotta do is just pop in the um, the iPad, leave it there, hook up the Mio Plus, get my bag and I'm done. Uh, I also use my uh, projector at times, so I'll set it up over here and then I can, um, I can display the image in there and play that way as well. So again, uh, it can be very bright at the time because I'm still closing in, in here and there. I need to put a black curtain in here and it will project it better and obviously i need to finish the roof but anyways this is my my standard setup okay so this is what it looks like i have the ipad my mebo plus there and i normally get into the net there so i'll take a shot very quick i don't have to waste time setting up the unit i'm at the driving range right now six iron Okay, and then I'll show you where it reads. You read it right there. You see the ball flight, pretty standard. And then you get all the information, so pretty neat. So as supposed to having a net, uh, having something like this is a little, you feel a little safer in the sense that you don't feel like you're gonna hit the ball, you know, to your neighbors or gonna go to the side. I have this structure right here, so it's built um with wood on the side on the on the front and on the other side on the top there is a, a strong sheet so it's not going to go through and i think that gives you like a sense of security and for me that help a lot because initially i started with a golf net i did pretty good but every once in a while the net started breaking um balls ended up over there and it was a little scary at times so i think with a setup like this you can also leave it like uh, as a golf cage and just you know to enjoy the outdoors be like this so and then you can decide like i'm doing to close it in eventually so look at this pole right here i put it on without any leveler and if you look at it it's completely offline look at this it's way off it needs to be like this so what i have to do here i'm gonna have to take him off and set it right same on this one right here um is way off this one right here so I have to wait until I reinforce that one and that one over there. I have to put a temporary pole in here and then uh, set it up right. As far as my putty mat, this is highly recommended. I bought this for I think $130 and I think it said indoor and outdoor, but it's been here through the rain, through everything and it's still going. It doesn't, as you can see, it's still like new. All I gotta do is just clean it sometimes, but it's working really, really good. So they're definitely a very um, sturdy product. It's called Pure. I'm not a sponsor by then anyway. I made a video on it, so if you want to check that out. Um, I was a little scared at the beginning, but as I put the planks, this right here, they definitely reinforce the structure. And the more you put in, the more it's going to be, um, the stronger it's going to be. It's going to strengthen the whole structure. Uh, at the beginning, it did shake a little with the wind, strong wind. And now it shakes, but not that much. And to the point where I can just leave the uh, the actual screen in there, because at the beginning, obviously it was blowing the screen uh, all over the place. But as you put more planks, more weight, more weight, uh, the 
the structure is going to strengthen itself also planning to put concrete in this right here to fill it in with concrete and kind of uh strengthen the the structure here um, is not perfect obviously because there's a, a few it's not straight completely straight but i think by by uh, strengthening the, the structure with a little uh, concrete uh, is going to make it i mean this is not going to move once i do that it doesn't move much right now but when it when it tends to when we have a lot of storms a lot of wind then it, it does move a little so by putting concrete there i think it's going to make it stronger okay so another update is this uh plank right here uh it's going to be about three meters high so about that tall there and basically what's that what's that going to do is going to uh kind of shelter me from any wind I'm going to do it from there all the way over here. Then I can mount my mirrors properly. And it's going to give a little shade when uh, there's too much sun. So then I can use a projector even during the day. And it's going to give some shelter from uh, some protection against wind uh, from blowing. So And ultimately, that's going to be the base for the roof uh, in here as well. So that's another addition that I'm working on. Uh, three meters high planks. I've seen them already. They're pretty thick uh they cost about 50 euros for about five so it's gonna cost me like a little bit like 150 to fill it in all the way over here so it does get expensive as you go but you know since i'm already on on this project and i need to continue i you know there's no stopping now so another thing is uh when you're hitting drives too with just a regular net that's where i had the most trouble you know had to i didn't want to fully hit it because i felt like it could break the net and with this setup it's way better i can just you know i don't i don't even think about that i'm just focusing on the hole on my distance on my speed so that's another advantage um in my opinion as opposed to having just a golf net all right guys so that was it for the video i hope it was helpful so make sure to use the right tools when you're building a golf shed like i did uh stay tuned for future videos i will keep you updated as soon as i start making the roof and finishing the size here i will put a curtain here and you know as you know you've seen the the video with the projector so it's working pretty good the only problem right now that is really cold out here so it's kind of hard to play golf in the cold but anyways stay tuned for future videos make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you can thanks for watching guys until next time